My left and right hand, Robert Ory. Most my nigga pop Zans unemployed. I can't stop from going in steroids. I try to tell you when I came, it was God. Washing all my hands with the moolah like it's AJ. Sipping out my cup. Everybody, it's your boy Yo it's too easy, and I'm back out here once again with some more NCAA 14 gameplay. Y'all right, know I'm out here rocking. I'm out here rocking with the Arizona State University Sun Devils, and we are in this dynasty mode today with the ASU Sun Devils. So as you guys can see, it is rival week once again. Arizona State taking on the University of Arizona, and look at this: it is the number one team versus the number two team in the nation. You guys know we are the number one team, so we want to go out there and get this dub, but this Arizona team is a great team. Do not get it messed up. The offense is a great offense, and their defense is a great defense. But we got a great offense on our hand, and we got a great defense on our hand too. So, hey, it's going to be a great game. As you guys can see, they went down very quickly and put some points up. But we are trying to do the same by answering, and that didn't happen right there there as we're trying to run the screen and they ended up sniffing that all out and they are stopping that so now it's seven to three and look at this just a lot of missed tackle and they're running back running down the field by himself man i feel like we went up against a lot of great running backs this year i can't even lie and all the great running backs that we went through literally abused us right here you guys seeing something that you guys usually don't see in a video from me you guys are seeing a passing play um you know, I do like passing the ball, but it's just, why pass the ball if the run just going to work? You know what I mean? If I can get down the field the whole time just running the ball, why not keep running it? You know what I mean? So, that's why I just run the ball a lot. Right here, Cody Cole's going into the end zone for his first receiving touchdown of the game. And he is giving us a, not a 10-point lead, he's putting us on the board again. And that's going to be 10-14 to 14 as we are still down to the University of Arizona with the half running down. So, you guys can see now, now they got the ball starting run, and we send the all-out blicks up the middle, thinking that we was going to be able to stop them. But look at Solomon just making a big play, and look at all his linemen blocking for him and leading him into the end zone, and they are taking another, they're taking the lead and putting it forward 21-10 now. You guys see now we running that read option again, and Colin Gerhard is getting out, and that's about a 25-yard rush right there. And now we give him the ball to Kalen, and he's putting that in the end zone, 17 to 21 now, with about 41 seconds left in the half. That's what we do, man. We get the ball, we run it down your throat, and we try to put it in the end zone, bro. That's what we try to do right here. Trey Griffey getting the ball, and. Man, I don't know why, but at the end of the half, man, it seems like we just can't stop people. As you guys can see, they took the seven-point lead, but we got the ball first, and Colton is trying to make sure that he leads his team to the touch to the win. As this is his first year starting, and he wants to lead his team to the win, you know what I mean? You're not going to be known as a great quarterback any school, bro, unless you beat your rivals, and that's what he's trying to do right here. So, you guys see we're running a read option again, and breaking a tackle right there. And Colton getting out once again. That's about a 12-yard rush for Colton. And now we give him the ball to our big man, Kalen. And Kalen putting that four-yard rush in the end zone. And now we are about to tie the game up finally with about a minute 30 left in the third quarter. Kalen put the, got a lot of touchdowns this year. As you guys remember last year, DeMario had a lot of touchdowns. That's because... When our big, when our best running backs get tired, man, they always get tired right around the end zone. So our backups always get a lot of touchdowns. So that's just how it is, man, you know what I mean? But look at our new Solomon going in for another touchdown, another rushing touchdown, and they are taking a lead, twenty-four to thirty-one. But look at Kalen trying to make some moves, getting about a fifteen-yard rush right there with the third quarter coming down to an end. 
Now we're giving Kalen the ball once again, and he's running up the middle. If he had some breakaway speed, man, that would have been a touchdown. That's a, but that's a 20-yard rush for him. Look at the stats on the game for him. And now we are giving the ball to Jason Lewis, and he's putting the touch. He's putting the ball in the end zone, and we are tying the game up 31 to 31. Now all we need is one stop, and we got a chance to put this game away. But we got to make that stop. So on third and two, you guys see they try to run the ball, and that wasn't happening. We were not allowing that. And now we got the ball. So with about two minutes left, we're giving the ball to Kalen. I believe DeMar Richard went down with a season-ending injury in this game. So Kalen is going to be our bread and butter the rest of the game, man. 30 seconds left. As you guys can see, we are setting the ball up right in the middle of the end, right in the middle of the field so we can kick this field goal. And that's going to be the last play of the game, you guys. So y'all go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, and uh, yep.